We start the race with the Rokas Swim. 1.9 kilometers, a single leap, and two clock swim. We lead the lift off. In the direction of Turn Day, you'll we'll see the big white hotel, the grand hotel. That's what the athletes are exciting. When they get close to Turn Day, it's a left hand. My race was really, really, really hard. Um, yeah, I knew I had to play my cards well today with all these, with the strong field, especially the strong runners. And uh, yeah, I tried to make a difference on the climb. Uh, we, yeah, and then we were like a group of four guys. But uh, yeah, I knew that they're, um, yeah, like Jan and Gregory are running really fast. So I still wanted to make a difference on the last 30 on the bike. And yeah, I was able to do that. Had quite good legs on the bike and uh, yeah and the run was just about survival and uh, defending the lead but I'm really happy uh, that I made it and really happy with the win after racing now back to back uh, two half distances in two weeks um, which was the first time for me doing that and uh, I'm happy it worked out quite well. I had a super tough winter, super tough period, changed a lot and um, yeah I'm just over the moon to, to cross the finish line. I didn't have my best swim. I tried to, or my plan was to go out hard, but I just hadn't got the arms for it. And then I think we were pretty packed together with all the favorites. And then on the first 20K, Fred was doing a really hard pace, but I could follow. And then on the uphill, it was, uh, yeah, like a really, <laughs> really tough, tough ride. I think everybody was going all out. We were with the four of us, like Fred, Lukas, and Greg, and then on the run, on the first 6, 7K, I had some problems with my back. And I was fourth for the stages and saw Zebi, Nico and Lucas coming really fast. The, the weather was really bad, but the friends were amazing. There was so much people out on course and they really pushed you. And like, they, I was hearing my name all the time and was, that was really pushing me even with this condition. So, the crowd and then the finish line is just amazing, really unique. It was a tough one, like I think I had a good swim and then I just felt, just I think I got a bit cold on the bike, I just felt like I had nothing, just uh, yeah, kind of decided to play it a bit tactical, sit with the group um, and then give it all on the run and yeah, it was just such a hard day. Uh, I think it was cold on the bike and then it felt really hot on the run, uh, so a bit of everything. There was a little bit of chatting. Um, I think we were all just very conscious that we didn't want to be slotting in and we, didn't, we wanted to be keeping our gaps. So, um, especially in the wet conditions, like um, I think Lisa and Laura were a lot better handling. So it was better having them at the front to kind of push the pace and then Els came through super strong at the end. Yeah, I felt so much safer getting off two wheels. Like if I slip down on the run, I don't think I'm going to break a clavicle. So I, yeah, I felt so much more in my comfort zone there. Um, but the support was just amazing. Like every time you run through town, it was such a big boost. And um, everyone just seemed so happy. Despite the weather, there were so many people out. It was just awesome. It was a good big Austrian party. Yeah, the swim, swim was pretty good. I got into a comfortable group with Emma and uh, Kat, um, which was really good, or Katie um, from Germany. And then Beck left us and it was quite nice, just the three of us working together. Um, and then, yeah, the bike was epic. I, I thought last week was probably the mentally and physically hard, hardest race I've done, but today just topped that. Um, it was a rewarding course because I think once you finished it was a sense of accomplishment for uh, getting from start to end uh, uh, unscathed but uh, and then come the run it was um, 
nice to have seven people all leave T2 at the same time. That's probably the biggest uh, number of people um, I've raced to enter T2 together. Um, and yeah, the run I was running scared that I was going to be caught from behind. Uh, I didn't have it completely in my legs from last week's uh, effort, but I, I was really happy with my race. No, I wasn't in the first back in the bike. I just uh, I was in the second uh, from the swim. But I pushed hard on the bike. I was a bit scared on the downhill, I admit. But I managed the, the flat part and the, the uphill. So I catch up uh, the first group at the end of the bike. So I went down from the bike with them and then I tried my best in the run. Uh, that's amazing. I mean, it's the best race I ever done. The support, the cheering, uh, it's crazy. In all the course uh, and even the rain. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs>